Hi, this is Jim Janesey. In a prior video, I showed you how to download and install the FileZilla client so that you could upload files to DePaul servers, uh, perhaps as a part of your classwork. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually upload to a DePaul server. In order to do that and make it meaningful, I have to have a little bit of HTML. I'm tuning into this now on my machine, and in fact, where did I put this little bit of HTML? I think I might have put it here. It's actually called Render Cell a Screen. And let me open it up with a text editor just to show you what that's all about. This is a very simple set of HTML. All it does is drag in and embed a video from YouTube. That's this line of code right here. And if I scroll to the right, you'll see that it's quite extensive. This I did not write. I just got this from YouTube after having put this video out there. I can then copy it from YouTube and embed it in a set of HTML like this. You can do this with any video that's out on YouTube. Anyway, this is the HTML and it's called rendercella underscore screen dot HTML and it's in this location in this folder. So what I'm going to do now, I've already got that prepared. Now I'm going to go and double click on the FileZilla client icon on my desktop. And if I do that, FileZilla opens up looking like this. And this is a very easy to use screen. The left side talks about your machine, that is your PC or your Mac. The right side talks about the server. In order to get the right side populated with information, I have to put in some information here at host and username, password, and I can leave port blank although if I position over it you'll see that the number 21 here is ordinary FTP and the number 22 here is for secure FTP. So the host in your case is going to be condor.depaul.edu and your username will be the username assigned to you by the ID card office or by your instructor. So my username is jjanesey and the password may be assigned to you in, in the transmission from your instructor or an email that you received or the ID card services office. So my password I've just entered. Now if I make these three entries correctly and I click quick connect, what will happen is that you'll see the commands that were issued here, that's what these things are, and you'll see here populated with the server the contents of your account. So this file structure is similar to the file structure on a PC. In order to navigate either of these environments, I can use the graphic bar up here, this box, and you'll see that if I click on my local disk C, I see all of the folders in there. It happens that this is the folder here. I have these updates and I can navigate also down here. I remember the folder name where I had stored these screens. So I have two things here, an index screen or this render cell screen. Index, if you happen to have an HTML file of this name and you upload it to a public HTML folder, then you don't really need to specify this name. This is the home page. But I didn't want to clobber any other home pages I had out here in my public HTML. So this on the server will already have been established for you, a folder named public underscore HTML. And if I look in there on my account, I have a tremendous amount of stuff, a lot of files and some folders. I already have created a folder here called Jim Demo that I was planning on using for this, but just to show you how this works, I'm going to create another folder. So I'm going to just highlight this, which is the, the index for all of the files in this folder, and I'm going to right mouse click, and I'll, I'll select here create a directory. Now this is going to be a folder within public HTML and I'm just going to say this is December 2009 demonstration. You might want to keep this to a shorter length though because you're going to have to type this in as a part of the URL. So I'm going to go with this but I'll show you this is one place where you really want to standardize on how you enter things Notice I'm using all lowercase letters. Do not use uppercase because they are treated differently. And if you forget the case, then you're not going to find what you're trying to put out there. 
So here I've created that folder, December 2009 demonstration. There's nothing in it. Now if I reach over on the left side and I grab this with my left mouse button and drag it over to the folder I want it to go into, here we see some commands having been issued that Rindersella will be copied from the PC up here. These are the FTP commands. This tool is forming those commands and sending them to the server on your behalf. Now if I double click on this, I'll see Rindersella screen is actually out there on the server. And that's really all it takes to put things up here. You locate them on your machine and you transfer them up in this graphic way by grabbing them and putting them onto the server machine. Now let's suppose one more thing here. Supposing there was some place on this machine that I wanted to have something downloaded from the server. I happen to have a folder here named Downloads and it's got a bunch of junk in it. This is just where I take things that I download from various places on the web. Now if I get to the point where I can see that folder name and let's just go here to Downloads and I grab this Rindersella with my left mouse button on the server and I bring it over here to downloads you see more commands having been issued a copy of this has now been transferred down and I can find it here this is alphabetical so down here is rendercella underscore screen so you see this tool works to upload and to download when you get finished with this set of operations, you want to close this. You go to the server tab and you click disconnect. And now you're disconnected from that server so that it's not expecting to do business with you anymore. If I close this, let's just see the effect of what I've done. Okay, I'm going to open up Firefox. And when the browser comes up, I'm going to put in the URL 3w's.depaul.edu slash tilde and my username Jay Janice. I'm going to put the folder December 2009 demonstration and I'm going to put rendercella screen dot html. Now hit the enter key and the screen comes up. This is actually what's produced. And if I now click on this button, I will see the performance. And this is actually a friend of mine who is reciting a very fractured version of the fairy tale. And of course, if you want to hear the rest of it, you'll have to tune into this address. So I'm going to get out of that at the moment. Well, I hope this little exposure to FileZilla, a download, the installation, and the usage of it is helpful to you. If not, please send us a suggestion at itd at depaul.edu and let us know what you'd like some additional coverage of, and we'll be happy to accommodate you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.